You're watching The Bear and the Brush. Hey guys, on this really hot and humid day, I was finally able to finish a project I was dreaming about for months actually. So this is no small house, but I lost my man cave to COVID. Sad story. But what happened? So my wife and I, we got to work from home. I also had some problems with my back that kicked me out of work for a while, but uh, that's a different story. <laughs> so uh, giving away my man space <laughs> for COVID was a bit hard for me, but actually it was nice. So I could build my small painting desk down in the living room and I could spend time with my wife while she was like doing her stuff, watching TV or whatever. So I was, in the middle of the family and everything was fine for a while but then um, my hobby kind of exploded and every few weeks or every few days there was another shelf on my um, painting space so I could add more colors or add another mini holder or whatever. I was steadily expanding my desk and my wife grew kind of tired of it. and. The living room became more of a um, space around my painting desk and no one was happy with that. So we decided to build something that is really, really able to hide all the painting I do, but gives me a lot of space and a lot of possibilities to enjoy this hobby. So let's take a look at what was there before and then we will take a quick look at what at what we've built please enjoy oh, my old painting space i really like my old painting space i built a spray booth that is fully portable so i can remove it when i don't use it i printed so much shelves and stuff and still everything is full and cramped together and I still don't have enough space for all the stuff I want to use regularly. So maybe it is time for something new, for something bigger, for something a little more tidy. I mean, look at it. It is a nice place. It really is. But this ain't no living room. So as lovely as my little painting spot was, it was time for a change and a kind of upgrade upgrade to the aesthetics of the living room and also an upgrade in space. So we went to the Swedish store with all the nice furniture and we got some boxes and more boxes and even some more boxes. And then it was time to tear my old friend down. First we grabbed everything we could and put it into those boxes, sorting it, and then we basically just ripped everything off the wall. It was a real huge mess to build this secretary desk. I think it's called Hemnes, at least in Europe it is. But it went on pretty fine. It took us about two hours. And it was time for some hacks, for some improvements so, first of all, my 3D printer went to work. So the hinges didn't make the sturdiest impression. So the obvious choice for me was to glue it all in with a good old super glue. And even the lamp holder needed to be glued in place because this wood isn't the sturdiest, but it's working fine. I wanted to use my old paint racks, so I needed to screw some wood into the back of this cabinet. So I 
designed and printed some shelves for my oil colors and for my artist range colors. They are inside the doors, which gives me some extra space. Of course, there needed to be a hanger for my beloved airbrushes. The top part is mostly assembly and oils and basing stuff. The middle part is for airbrush colors, camera and stuff. And the bottom part is a good stowaway for my painting handles, the minis and of course all the colors I regularly use. My spray booth got a little upgrade with uh, foldable shelves. The middle part holds some extra stuff and the bottom part holds my compressor. Really nice bonus. All my YouTube equipment fits into the bottom and it is really quick to set up. Two minutes for just the painting area and not even five minutes if I go full production mode. So having seen all the changes I've made or all the hacks I made to this IKEA secretary desk that is right behind me now. Um, I would like to show you some of my early pictures or how it started, how the painting just looked before it exploded. <laughs> So guys, that's it. That's my new painting area. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments, please. So while me and R2 here will continue enjoy this little coffee, I would like to ask you if you could hit those pesky buttons everyone on YouTube is raging about. It would be greatly appreciated. So have a nice day and I hope to see you soon on The Bear and the Brush.